Hi everybody, Jiggy Time Gal and welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be making vellum flowers. To do this, we're going to be using vellum. I have 65 pound vellum here. Vellum is like a see-through kind of, it's like a, like a transparent type of, you can kind of see through it a little bit. Um, film. It's a specialty paper. I get mine off of uh, Amazon. I'll link it down below. You can get it at Hobby Lobby. You can get it at Michael's. You can get it at uh, Joann's. You can get it online. Um, it's a specialty paper. I get like 50 sheets, I think, for seven or eight bucks. Um, and you can do lots of different things with it. Um, but we're going to be um, alcohol inks to stain the colors. And then we're going to be punching them out with um, punches, um, flower punches. And we're going to be putting them together to make flowers. So I have a whole bunch of um, alcohol ink stained papers already, but I'm going to show you how to do it um, with a couple of them here so you get a general gist. I'm going to be doing a red and pink one and a navy and a blue um, one. And I have a straw here. And the straw is just to blow through to move the ink around on the paper to make it move um, and to make effects. So we're just going to take some alcohol ink here. This is blue. And we'll drop it on the paper in random areas. It's all around. That's navy. And then we're going to take the blue. We'll put it in spots. We're going to blow on it. And we're going to set that aside to dry. We're going to take the next one. I'm going to do pink. And red. And the red's not cutting down. Okay, we're going to touch the straw. Let's turn out mostly red. That's okay. And since we have extra ink in the paper, we're going to put another piece on here. It's going to set the thing. We're going to shoot. That's why not. We'll go back into pink. Try to get some pink in here. Try to lighten up the red a little bit with some light. We'll get some pink in there. Mm -hmm. 
There we go. Now we're getting paid. We'll move that around a little bit. Set that aside to dry. Okay. Now, these papers that are already dry. While we're waiting for those to dry. I have um, five pedal punches here. Um, I have a six pedal punch, a five pedal punch, uh, another five pedal punch, Petunia. I have a, another five pedal punch, which is like a flower, and I have a four pedal punch. And I have this one. And I have this one. So we're going to punch out punches out of papers, and I've got one. And we're going to try to make two punches of each color. So let's go with this one. Put it in here. Fun. It's okay if you rip the bell and trying to get it out because that's that's gonna happen. Because it's very fragile paper. There are two petal punches of purple. Let's set this aside. Let's try to get through the red. I like the red punches. A little bit two more. Let's try. No, we're not going to go two more. Then we have a while. Try this blue. Okay, blue. I don't want to get two more of this. I kind of think you did a good one here.
very good to use over here. Okay. Where did it I don't know, this one's going to be patient for two. There we go. I really fold it in hand. Try to put it in there and do it to it. That one. Well, that worked pretty well. Yeah, well, pretty well. That works better when you fold it in the hand. Works much better. Okay, you notice that it crumples up on you like this? Oh, Lord. 
and you have you down here. And if you notice it kind of goes up like this on you, what you do is you so see the way it's holding, turn it over, and roll it backwards in the opposite direction that it's floating. And hold it firmly, switch it a little bit, and then let it go. And we'll straighten out. We didn't need too many leads. And so we're better if I set this up like this and then fold it down into it like that and then punch it. It works well. That's what I've been doing. And you didn't see it because I had the can on the wrong end. It's a terrible. And then you just fit out your pieces. Because it's it's fidgeting. Let's do this one. Take the paper, you fold it in half. Take your, your uh, vellum, fold it in half. Use the crease. Put the crease down in your your um, little punch and punch it. And fish out the pieces. Seems to work that way. This one's kind of nice. It's like purples and blues. It's nice, but it's rolling this way. So flip it over and roll it the opposite direction. Those that are boiling. Roll up a little bit, squeeze it. Fluff it, see? And it turns out flat. So I'm going to take it and roll it. Fold it in half. Squeeze it. I'll do this just so you can see. Put your paper in. Hold that nice and easy and punch it. There you go. There's your paper. Here you go. I'll do that again. On the punch. I was so awful at recording and didn't show you and I just awful at it. It wasn't. I was off. Yes. You can say it. I was awful. I was an awful waffle. Okay. Take your punch stand up if you're using this side punch. Otherwise, you have to do it a different way. If you're using this side punch, just stand up really easy. Take your folded edge here. Folded edge. Put it in. It slides right down in nice and easy. And... Oops. And punch. See, so sometimes you have to fish out your papers. Get it off, but then you have all your little papers here. And yes, you will get inked up. It happens. You can wear vinyl gloves or latex gloves or something if you want, if you don't want to get inked up. But you know, it's just the way of a factor. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to take the ones that are the same colors. We're going to take a little bit of hot glue. Put glue in the center. Oh, hang on. Rethink. And you'll flip it over. You're going to use the ink sides are going to be face down. Okay? Because you don't want the ink face up. You want the nice shimmery look. You want the nice uh, muted look. So you're going to put Ink side down, you're going to put a dot of glue. You're going to alternate the petals, stagger them. And then you can put um, a gem or anything you want in the middle if you would like to, which I think I'm going to. So no dot glue. Put your gem. There you go. You have your fly. Now, if you want, you don't have to, but if you want, you can change the colors up and put like, um, okay, like a red. 
and are great. Let's make sure we got the um fall side down. We'll put the red on top. That and then we'll put a red gemstone. On the moon. And we can have a varied look. Have a varied look. Now, in order to make it work, you have to make two of the same because you're going to have, and we'll just alternate and we'll put the red on the bot. I'm not sure I got the right, yeah. This is this one. We'll put the red on the bottom, this is the We'll get into that. We'll put the green down style. That is stitch it angle. Okay. Um, do the same thing here. We're going to do the purple. Purple gemstone in the middle. Very pretty. They're so pretty. So I mix those up. Pretty, very pretty. Okay. Want these to be the same. Uh, it needs to be the same. I think I'm going to mix the loose tool. I think I'm gonna mix the green and the gold.
I think I'm going to mix the blue and the green. Can't mix them with different polos. Okay. different types of petals. I couldn't mix them. The last one. There's all the flowers we made today. Very pretty. They look very delicate. Very, sh very shimmery. Very delicate. Very dainty. They're very pretty. They got a sheerness to them. They're very pretty. But you can make them yourself. Um, the crimping, um, the curling of the papers actually give them a little bit of a texture to them. Give them a little bit of a flare. A little bit of a, um, a wave to them, a little bit of life to them. So, yeah, I think they're pretty, pretty cool. So, that was the tutorial for today. Thank you very much for stopping by my channel and viewing my videos. I appreciate it. I'm always thinking of you and always thinking of new videos to come out with, things to do, keep you entertained. I'm always rocking my brain. So, if you like things like this, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll all keep plugging away at it. Thank you very much. Have a nice night. Take care of yourself. We'll catch you on the flip side. Hey, while you're at it, why not subscribe to the channel? Leave a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing today. Leave me ideas that can help boost my channel ratings or ideas for future content on the channel. Click the notification bell so you know when I have new videos out or when I go live. Share my um, videos on social media outlets such as Facebook or Instagram so that way my videos can reach more people and I can grow my audience. Click the like button below. That really helps my channel to help reach more people on YouTube. Supporting me is really great and it helps me grow my channel. I'm not a very big channel at this time and it's really important to me that I get support from fellow YouTubers. I really appreciate you all. I really appreciate that you take time out of your busy day to view my videos and to spend time with me on a daily basis. I try to put videos out on a daily basis so you have something to watch and something to entertain yourselves with. I try really hard to make my channel a positive place for people to come and have fun and be entertained. So I try really hard to make things enjoyable for people. So if you, if you support me, I would really appreciate it. Thank you so very much for your time. Have a great day. We'll catch you on the flip side.